Today, we join Kayla in Boston, Massachusetts, as she tours the Beacon Hill neighborhood, home to the Black Heritage Trail. Hi everyone, my name is Kayla Boyer and I am the K-12 Product Marketing Specialist for Everfi and I'm here today in Boston's Beacon Hill neighborhood. Today I'm going to bring you along the Black History Heritage Trail here in Boston's Beacon Hill neighborhood. It's a 1.6 mile trail and it's going to showcase community buildings and residences of important Black figures before, during, and after the American Civil War. So here I'm standing in front of Robert Gold Shaw's Regiment Memorial, which was made to commemorate one of the first black regiments from the North to serve in the Civil War. So really fun fact and interesting fact about Shaw. He helped inspire the enlistment of over 180,000 black soldiers into the U.S. American forces. So I'm standing in front of a very important building. This is actually the oldest standing building in the Beacon Hill neighborhood. And it was owned by a very important black figure in the 1700s named George Middleton. He actually organized the African Society, which is a charitable organization dedicated to community service, uplifting and education in the Boston area. So here you have the Phillips School, built in 1824. Like most public schools in the city, it only allowed for education of white students. It wasn't until 1855 that the student body became interracial. So behind me is the Charles Street Meeting House, and in the 1800s, it served as a forum and meeting place for activists. So in 1895, the black club women that often met at this meeting house formed the National Federation of Afro-American Women, which was a precursor to the National Association of Colored Women. So I'm standing in front of the Lewis and Harriet Hayden House, which in the 1800s served as the preeminent underground railroad safe house. So the Haydens actually escaped slavery in Kentucky and they came to this house and it became the safest safe house for the Underground Railroad in its time. So I conclude this tour with the African Meeting House. So the African Meeting House was built in 1806 and it held the first African school, but it also was a meeting space for social activists in the 1800s. In 1972, this meeting house was actually purchased by the Museum of African American History, which still owns it today. Well, that concludes my tour. I hope you had a great time. I know I did, and I hope you learned something new. Have a great day. Let's continue our journey by traveling to Omaha, Nebraska, home to human rights activist and prominent figure during the civil rights movement, Malcolm X.